Guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to start to do tutorials. And I'm going to show you how I build visually appealing dashboards using the reporting tool, Click. Now there's loads of tutorials on Power BI and Tableau, but I figured there's not an awful lot on ClickSense. And I've been using this now for about six months and I have to say, I'm really impressed by what it can do. You can definitely make some great dashboards so let's get into it. So I'm going to show you guys today how we can actually build multi KPI cards. So on the left hand pane now, if we go to custom objects, you can see there's some additional visualization bundle here. And I'm going to use the multi KPI chart, which you literally just drag and drop. So I have some sales data here. When the first thing I like to do with my visualizations is try and highlight some of the key information. So for this, of course, it's going to be how much we've made from sales. So you, to add your dimension here, you just click on it. And in this scenario here, when we talk about a dimension, we're talking about how we want to summarize our data, whether it be by, for example, region or product category. In my case, I want to look at it by regional sales. Measure here is basically talking about what aggregation method do we want to use? And the nice thing about Click, it has some built-in functions. So you don't really have to do anything. So I want to look at my total sales. Yeah, yeah I could also look at my average sales, my maximum sales, my minimum sales. It's quite easy to use. Anyway, and we can see here that we've got a breakdown of my sales across the three different regions. So if we go to my right-hand side pane now, we can start to tidy this up. So we've got dimensions, we've got measures. So I want to click on measures. And the first thing I want to do is give this guy a, a label. Let's say sales. And you can see straight away that that changes now. Now you can adjust the number formatting. So here, for example, auto works quite well because it gives us exactly what we want, but we could change it to number. And let's say we could do this to uh, get the exact sales figures, but I'm okay with it being rounded and actually using auto works quite well. In terms of colors here, I think this would look, uh, you, you can change the colors, label color, refers to the top measure here, sales. So we could change this to gray, a gold type color, whatever you like. I'm gonna change it to black. And also my value color here, again, you can play around with this, but I'm gonna change this to black also. In terms of the alignment here, we can change it in this pane, left center, central, right. I'm gonna keep it as center. And this is something that I really like about this uh, multi KPI feature. If we select the icon here, we can put a little widget next to it. So I'm going to use the chart. And then you can see this pops up right before our label. You could also do it so that your, your, your label comes before your icon, but I prefer it the other way around personally. You can choose how big you want it. I like it small, but you could go for normal or large entirely up to your preference but I'll just go for small because that's what I like. Um, you could actually put this into infographic mode as well, where you can, it does what it says, but it's not really necessary at this point in time. Sorting, uh, it's a little bit confusing really. I don't really know where my top cells are straight away. And I think you read the page from left to right. So straight away, I want to know where are we getting our maximal cells? And that looks a lot better. So if we collapse, sorting, uh, if we click on appearance, so show titles refers to the click to add title section that you can see in the top left hand corner of our canvas. I don't particularly want that, but you can have that if you like. There's loads more we could do with the appearance. Um, if you go to under presentation, press styling, you could, for example, a border if you want to. So I could change it to a thicker border. I could make this black. I personally don't like the border. I don't think in my instance, I really want this. So I will go back up to presentation and all you have to do is just, you could click reset, but I don't want a border at all. So I'm gonna put this to zero. Different things you can do as well. You could put in an image, you could put in a color um, shadow, but again, I don't think it's necessary. Keep it. I like my dashboards to be simple and clean. The other cool thing as well, so that's on the presentation. If we go to dimensions, 
How do you want to show it? You could show it segmented. You could show it as individual cards. It's entirely up to you. I think for this one, I'm going to show it as segments and you will see why in the moment. Again, you could have it vertically if you pull it all the way down, but of course, we're going to need to put other uh, aspects to our dashboard. So in this scenario, I'm going to keep it as horizontal. And then our label, how do you want to attach? I want it top attached there, it makes it very slight different. Other things you can do under parents, you could hide the labels, but of course we need them because we need to know what region it's in. But we could hide the external borders. We could hide the internal borders too. I think I will hide all of them actually. So if we go back to data, um and i'm going to show you guys and what i also like is the ability to add little charts inside this mini chart so what i'm going to put here if we write the string drag and drop so that it's nice and obvious for you now this isn't actually a measure as we can see this is simply just a string but we have also in our left hand side pane you have custom objects we have this pane here, you have master items. And before I basically did this video to speed up time, I basically made some pre-configured bar charts showing the cells. So all I simply need to do, and I know this one relates to North America, is I simply drag and drop and we get a nice cool visual alongside the KPI cards there too, that which tells the story. And all I'm gonna do is simply hide that drag and drop label and voila. Now, I appreciate that I probably need to do this for all three, but I think you guys get the gist of what's going on here. So I probably don't need to, but let's make this look a little bit cooler. So maybe if we go to parents here, uh, and maybe we can give this KPI a little bit of a background, but not too loud. So again, here we can change the color itself. We can make it as you wish. And maybe I will, Again, depending on what else you need to fit onto this page, you could also actually change the background of your chart so that it blends in. So if we go to master items, we have a chart there, we can right click. And if we go to edit and the actual chart itself, if we go to appearance, we click on presentation, go to styling. And what you actually have to do to make sure it has no background image, even though it's clicked, it's still showing as a white background. I don't know why. It's just, it's just how click works. But once we click it now, you can see it blends in to your background image. So now if you look at it, you can see now that it is totally blended in. The annoying thing is, and this is where click can sometimes can be a little bit challenging, is actually just replicated my graph across all of the different segments, which I don't actually want. But the purpose of this video is to show you guys exactly how this can work and make a nice visually appealing multi KPI card. And I think you'd agree that this is far better than using a normal KPI card where you simply, all you can do is aggregate maybe your sum of cells by, well, aggregate your sum, but let's do that again, not by region. You could aggregate your total cells, but this just gives you everything you're unable to get simply it broken down by each region. So I think we'd agree this looks much, much better. So there you have it. That's how you can use the multi KPI card to really emphasize your cells, break it down by whichever dimension you wish. And you can also add a mini chart. Hopefully guys, this gives you a great basis to start your canvas. Should I say your, your dashboard? And we're going to do some really cool things. Until next time, peace.